right, so what we have here is a lonely little iPhone. It's all by itself, but it does things. Let me show you what it does. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to start a little application. Now, it's hard for you to see in the camera. I will attempt to zoom in a little. Well, I'm not going to touch the zoom, I'm sorry. I will take another phone, and I will point it at that phone. So what? You don't see much. You got a C prompt, which is kind of fascinating. But that's it. Well, let's just do something then. Maybe you'll recognize that. What is that, she, he says. <gasps> what is that? <laughs> that, my friends, is an atom. <laughs> now, unfortunately, my little Bluetooth keyboard I'm using over here doesn't have function keys. So I can't function and get out that easily, so I have to actually swipe to get back out. But let me show you a couple other things it does. Or maybe I did it wrong. I should watch what I'm typing. Get back there, okay. Start over again. Yeah, I gotta give me a, I wanna give me a, um, a keyboard. Sorry for a jumpy cam. I gotta get a keyboard that has function keys. Make sure I'm typing it right this time. What is that? Wait, wow, 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 CPM? On an iPhone? How is that possible? And I'm going to see something here, control. How is that possible on an iPhone? Yeah. And let me show you something else. Okay, I'm gonna load up another one. Oh my god, we got basic. We have basic. Basic. You ever seen basic? Oh, not directly, I'm sorry. Catalog. Smart basic on the iPhone. <laughs> I'm gonna do one more thing. Okay, I'm back here again. I downloaded something. What we got here? What we got here? We got a whole bunch of ColecoVision games. Now I don't know how well the joystick will work, but we'll see. I don't know what's going to be control, what's going to be fire, but just gives you an idea. Let's see. I don't have a numpad on here. Ew. I don't have a numpad. So I don't have a numpad. 
Yeah, as you can see, I don't have a numpad, so I can't press a number one to start the game, which sucks. Because that number one doesn't cut it, and there is nothing over in here like a dedicated little numpad. So yeah, I need to get me a Bluetooth keyboard that's PC compatible. Because, obviously, you can see what we can do here. Let's see, can I, I'm gonna, let me, I have to do it the hard way, exit. Go back in, and in a minute I'm going to tell you what I got here, so you can go get it. Let's see, is there any other games on here that start without doing that? Without asking for a skill level? I don't know. I know Donkey Kong and stuff do. Let's just keep going through here. Let's see if we can find anything in here that starts without a skill level. Galaxian? Sorry for the hand shaky cam. Ooh, look at that. It's probably going to ask for skill level. I don't even know if control will fire on this one like it does. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, I, I definitely need, yeah, because I, I can't do anything else with it, but I definitely do need. <laughs> but that's freaking awesome. Alright, so let's, let's go back over here, close it up. What we have on here is a software called IDOS for the iPhone. If you want to use this software, you got to get it and you got to get it quick. Because Apple has discovered that it's actually just DOSBox running on the iPhone and they don't like the fact you can run software on it so get it download it quick it's $4.99 it's worth it it's not mine I discovered this last weekend reading the news found out this thing is getting yanked from the store so get it and get it quick because it gives you an atom see it actually it gives, see, it gives you a full blown PC see I got it's, it's full blown DOS box see I don't know what software is actually installed in here. Okay, nothing installed here, but see, it's DOSBox version 5. And all I did is I downloaded the Atom emulator into it, didn't do anything special. I got a Bluetooth keyboard right here that I just had laying around that's for an Android, not a not a, this here, but it works. I got to get a Bluetooth keyboard that actually works for PC, it has PC keys. And then put it on here. Or you can just do it this way too. Just, I forgot all about it. If I just rotate this here, it brings up the keys, and I can press the function key, and you know what? Yeah, yeah. I'm sitting here trying to do that here. Does it got the num locks in here, or the number pad? Hang on, let me see. See, it's got, it's got, a, it's got a game pad in here. But I'm not seeing a number pad. Do you see? <laughs> I'm asking you like you're going to answer me. I don't see a num pad. No, I don't see num pad in here. But yeah, now I guess you could remap the keys to be the, what you wanted them to be too. But this is cool. Now my, this video isn't up to my full blown quality. I normally do. I got, I got three different cameras going, and it's like really wacky and stuff. But I had to do this. I had to get this out to you. Have a great day, guys.